My name is Joe Dominguez. I'm a student teacher from Arizona State University. I'm at Westwood High School in Mesa, Arizona, where I am teaching my trigonometry class, The Law of Signs. This class is made up of 11th and 12th graders. On your... I want to go pack it. Mr. D, thank you. I need one. Are we in chapter eight? Uh, no, you don't have to. No, no. no. So, uh, uh, can I have one? protection. There you go. I have one. Yes, Mr. D, I, need, I do need a packet. Oh, I do need a packet. Oh, I need my friend. What's up? Did you want me to? Oh, my God. Can I have one of the packets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys pull out something for notes? Yes, sir. Or no packet? Uh, well, you know I don't go by the note packet too closely, so have, this is supplemental for you. problem on the board it's going to look really familiar it's going to be a little bit different but you should know how to solve it so let's imagine we're all in EJ. that's right and i have a pyramid right it's a, it is a okay well this is kind of pyramid because elvira wants me to make it look more like a pyramid so we are i know you can't see it but you know what about the other one like I don't want to draw the yellow ones because it might just be yellow. But you're good. Okay, so we're in Egypt and we see this pyramid and I want to find the height of it. Now let's say you are standing uh, let's say 500 feet away from the base. And somehow you know that the angle of elevation between you and to the tip of the pyramid is 25 degrees. And your, your tour guide also told you that the angle of this slope right here is 48 degrees. I want you to find the height of the pyramid. Right. So the height would be, right? This line right here. Now the challenge, which should look familiar, is that you don't know this length right here, so we'll just call that x. So we're together to try to see if you can remember how you find the height of this pyramid. This is a warm-up. This is a warm-up. Okay. like sine A over sine. Yeah, you guys can work together to do this. I want you guys to turn in individual papers. Drawing the picture, that's a good start. So 
why would this problem look familiar to all of you? Because the auditorium project, good. So you should know how to do this. If not, it's all right, we're going to go over it. still works if it's not. Hey, Mr. D, I have a question. Yeah. I mean, you, did you guys solve the object project? There's a right triangle. It's 500x. Keep working on it. How do you find for the right triangle? It's 500 plus x. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you do equal to the right triangle. The right triangle? No, actually, the law of sign is where we actually start working into triangles that aren't right. Where they're oblate, so that they're acute or oblate. So is that what you use right now? Yes. So what I like you to do is try to solve this the same way that you solved the auditorium project using the okay, using the uh, trick that you know so far. Some of you are jumping ahead, which is cool too. I don't mind seeing that.